Hello, Les from Thailand and welcome to my channel, Retired and Living the Dream. My videos are about living in Thailand and living on a budget and everything to do with living in Thailand. I've lived in Thailand now for almost nine years, so I know a little bit about living here, the various hoops you have to jump through for visas and living costs here and various other bits and pieces. So have a look at my videos, see what you think, give them a thumbs up if you like if you don't like them give them a thumbs down maybe subscribe to help my channel along that would be great and today's video is going to be about crime is on the increase in thailand uh, unfortunately because of the covid situation the crime has also increased in thailand and so therefore um, people are looking at to making their houses more secure but by making your house more secure does it actually make it a death trap so today's video is going to be about making your house secure and not making it into a, a death trap by being imprisoned or trapped in your own house. So I'm going to put some pictures up about the house where I live and as you see the first picture is somebody tried to break in a number of years ago and the, the window's never really been replaced so as you can see they tried to jemmy the window open but the landlady then put the steel bars at all the windows and as you can see by all the other pictures the steel bars are every single window even the little toilet window or cupboard window outside is protected by steel bars so it's actually very safe our house we also have CCTV cameras all over the place and a CCTV monitor which records the area as you can see in the pictures so we have locks on the gates as you can see we have two front doors the main door and then the the shutter doors which we close on a night time and when we go away and the back door as you can see it has two two substantial locks and then we have an internal door which have locks also and we have a security cupboard which again which is a gate which is secure by means of a lock so if anybody breaks in it's it's a very very safe house as you can see it's a very very safe house to live in it, it's going to take some breaking in and when I used to live in England I used to have a security alarm business and I used to advise people about security measures and as far as I would say this is 10 out of 10 for security measures CCTV cameras, bars at the windows, double entry doors, plenty of locks at the back door Every, um, everywhere is protected by CCTV cameras so if anybody's going to break in or steal something, they're going to look elsewhere because, let's face it, every house has a TV, every house has a hi-fi computer nowadays. So they're just going to look for somewhere safer to break in and not be disturbed. Um, also, motorbikes. As you can see, I've got several motorbikes also. And on the PCX, I've got a simple lock. It's a disc lock. It's only 350 baht, but it just helps protect the bike. I also put all the steering locks on so if anybody's going to try and break in or take the motorbike it's going to take some time to be able to take it away. We also have locks on the main gate so it's just preventative measures. It costs next to nothing to do but it's preventative measures. Security lighting is important also. We have two, two lights on that's on the perimeter of our house on all the time and we've just purchased a solar panel light. 65 watt light that charges up during the day with the sun and shines at least 10 or 12 hours during the night this solar light also lights up the area with the motorbike and the sam loin and it also a back door it's protected by a cctv camera also so again we're well protected but the danger of all of this lot is the house that we live in is open plan and i think most thai houses are open plan now i worked in the fire brigade for 30 years so I've been to many many house fires and unfortunately people have died at various house fires like I said at the beginning of this video don't make your house into a, a place where you could not survive in the event of a fire so for instance people who don't have smoke detectors how would you get out of your windows with the bars at the windows it's just impossible to be able to get out the window in the event of a fire is you need a hacksaw or you need a grinder. So as most people don't have one of these in the bedroom, a hacksaw or a grinder, how would you get out of your bedroom? 
so for instance look at this photograph here from the exit of my bedroom then it's a, a passageway going into the living room and also going into the kitchen so if there was a fire in the kitchen or a fire in the living room the whole house is going to be covered in smoke we all know what Thai electrics are like and anything can happen and there's a couple of photographs here of I mean this isn't my house but it's it's some photographs of various hotels that we've stayed in and other people's houses that I've looked and I've done some remedial work for for electrics um, the, the electrics are terrible like this picture here this is a, the house where I live we wanted to put a, an extension on to feed our greenhouse so when I took the front of the socket off three red cables one's neutral one's live and one's the earth which one's which so obviously I had to do some testing to find out which is which but this is in a house that's fairly well done for the electrics but things like this happen three red cables unbelievable so as you can see electrics in Thailand aren't nowhere near as good as they are in like America or the European or, or Great Britain so anything can happen so you have to take care and be safe so my suggestion is get a smoke detector Get a smoke detector, you can get one off Lazada for about 150 baht, albeit it's not very good quality, but you can pay up to £10 for a smoke detector. It does exactly the same thing. Now I'm going to put a video on it, it's an old video about how quickly fire can spread. So watch the video, and then when the video is finished, I'll give you some more answers as to how you can look after yourself and be safe. So enjoy. So I've stopped the video at this point um, to give you some information. You now, so many people said, oh, I'll just go and get a bucket of water and I'd put the fire out. I'd smell the smoke. That would wake me up. Smoke doesn't wake you up. Once you go to sleep, your senses die down during the night whilst you're sleeping. So majority of people would not smell the smoke until it's too late. But OK, let's start at where I've stopped the video. So roughly, if you've seen that, that your settee was on fire, you'd go and get a bucket of water or a bowl of water. So do you know where the bucket is? Do you know where the bowl is? I would say it would take you 30 seconds to be able to find the bowl, fill it up with water and go and tackle a fire. So I'm gonna restart the video and then count another 30 seconds and then you can see at what point the fire would be if you're trying to tackle the house fire with a bowl of water.
So, okay, you watch the video now. Do you think you could have put that sofa fire out with a bucket of water? Highly unlikely. Okay, it's old furniture. Modern day furniture has got fire suppressants in, but that's as a UK standard. But in Thailand, many sofas don't comply with fire regulations with regard to fire safety or fire retardant material being used. So only on some furniture, it, it uses fire retardant material. So is it worth taking the risk? How many people leave the TVs on the night time switched on, on standby? Your hi-fi, your video, uh, you, you plug your phone chargers in. Many phone chargers catch fire, especially the cheaper Chinese versions that you get. Buy the proper phone chargers, the branded makes. If you buy anything cheap with regard to electricity or charging, especially over in Thailand, you're taking a risk. So why do you want to take a risk? So, my advice is make your house secure but also have an escape plan as to what you would do in the event of a fire. A smoke detector, less than 10 pounds. Get two, get two of them, one in the kitchen and one in the, the lounge area, so it gives you that early warning. Test your smoke detectors at least once a month, make sure that it bleeps, make sure that it works, and change the battery. There's a warning device on smoke detectors that it, it sends a bleep when the battery's working low. Don't just take the battery out and forget about it. Put a new battery in it and stick it back up. Smoke detectors in England, we used to fit smoke detectors for free in people's houses. Because that saved more lives than any other fireman. A smoke detector gives early warning, so if anything is untoward, you have enough time to be able to react and deal with whatever's causing the alarm to go off. Don't leave it until a fire happens. Make your house secure, but make sure you have a plan to be able to get out of the house. Steel bars at the window are great for stopping people from getting in, but also it stops you from getting out. So if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't find it helpful, give it a thumbs down. Leave your comments down below if you've got any questions. I was in the fire brigade for 30 years, so I can give any advice to anybody that's got any questions whatsoever. Make your home a safe home but also make it safe to get out. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, until the next video, bye for now.